actor, director, poet, and musician, Malcolm Jamal Warner, was born in Jersey City, New Jersey. He was raised by his divorced mother, who served as his manager and played a major role in protecting her son from some of the pitfalls other child stars have experienced. His name is derived from two prominent African-American figures, minister and civil rights activist Malcolm X and renowned jazz pianist Ahmad Jamal. At the age of five, his family moved to Los Angeles following his parents' separation. As a youth, he got heavily into basketball and thought for a while that he was going to play professionally when he grew up. He wound up getting into theater acting at nine when his mother decided to put him in the activity so he'd have something to do after school instead of just hanging out with his friends. As it turned out, Malcolm not only enjoyed it, he was pretty good at it too. After several appearances on a variety of television shows, he landed his most successful role as Theo Huxtable on the NBC sitcom The Cosby Show. Malcolm auditioned for the role on the final day of the nationwide search and was chosen by Bill Cosby himself. Along with the role came a move to New York, where the show was going to be filmed. The moment the first episode aired in 1984, it turned 14-year-old Malcolm into a superstar. Over the years, he's spoken fondly of how grounded the experience was shooting in real life New York, as opposed to the Hollywood bubble of LA. He was able to have real friends instead of a bunch of actor friends. Because of his parents' influence, he never got into drugs or alcohol, but he does have fond memories of spending time in some of the most legendary nightclubs, even though he was underage, and being able to enjoy having access to certain things without completely wiling out. Fun fact, or maybe a more interesting fact, Malcolm didn't get along with the actor playing his character's best friend cockroach, Carl Anthony Payne. He told The Breakfast Club in January 2023 that the issue was pretty much rooted in him acing Carl out of the role of Theo. Apparently, at the end, it came down to the two of them, so in reality, had Malcolm never auditioned, the role would have gone to Carl. Also, according to Malcolm, Carl had a huge ego. As far as the often asked question of why Cockroach disappeared off the show, that's another story for another time. Since his mother always drilled into him that the hit TV show he was on could end at any moment and he needed to prepare himself for that, Malcolm decided to diversify his skill set early on. By 16, he'd begun directing and went on to do many music videos, including New Edition's Any Heartbreak, rapper Special Ed's I'm the Magnificent, and British R&B group Five Stars I Love You for Sentimental Reasons. He also directed episodes of many TV shows, including The Cosby Show, All That, Keenan and Kel, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where he also made a memorable guest appearance, and his next sitcom hit, Malcolm and Eddie. Years later, Malcolm admitted that he only needed one word to sum up his experience on the show, miserable. He told Sway in the Morning in 2016 that it was a culture shock going from the Cosby Show environment, where Black people were portrayed in a very non-stereotypical way, to UPN, where all they wanted to do was be as stereotypical as possible. Malcolm spent much of his time constantly fighting with the network, producers, and writers to raise the bar. Another person he had a volatile relationship with was his very own co-star, Eddie Griffin. Malcolm's been candid about confessing that they didn't get along due to, he says, them coming from two very different schools of life. He does emphasize, though, that they both approach their work in a professional manner. Around this time, Malcolm picked up a new hobby, playing bass guitar. He started to help him deal with all the craziness going on behind the scenes of the show and never believed that it would go any further than that. Well, to date, he's gone on to release four albums. In addition to music, he's also a performance poet. Malcolm said that he considers himself a poet before an actor due to his father's influence of making a point to educate his son on African-American history through books and poetry. Since the late 80s, Malcolm's landed numerous film roles, but has continued to have the most success on the small screen. In addition to The Cosby Show and Malcolm and Eddie, he's also starred in the short-lived productions Here and Now, Jeremiah, Sherry, and Read Between the Lines. Of them all, that last one looked to be the most promising, with Malcolm working alongside girlfriend star Tracy Ellis Ross. While the idea behind the show was to highlight the couple's ups and downs together as a blended family, Malcolm revealed both him and Tracy were adamant about making sure they didn't take the typical approach to a Black sitcom. Unfortunately, from the beginning, the writers that were hired all had a background in scripting for typical Black sitcoms. As a result, he says, there was always a struggle over what the show was supposed to look and feel like. 
Several years later, Malcolm would land another starring role on the Fox medical drama, The Resident. He would play the role of Dr. A.J. Austin for the show's entire six season run. Even though at the height of Malcolm's fame, his personal life was never on display, he did have some serious long-term relationships. Presumably the first of which was a six year bid with actress Michelle Thomas, who portrayed his girlfriend, Justine Phillips, on The Cosby Show. While they were no longer dating when she passed away in 1998 from stomach cancer, he still made a point to be by her side on that day. During Malcolm and Eddie's run, he dated his co-star, Karen Melina White, who he'd already developed a friendship with since her appearance on The Cosby Show years earlier. They were together for over seven years. He also dated actress Regina King from 2011 to 2013. The pair originally met in the 80s and formed a bond as child stars when Malcolm was on Cosby and Regina starred on 227. Reports say he was the one to call it quits, requesting that she and her son move out of the home they shared and that she was blindsided and devastated. Today, Malcolm is married with a daughter. He's chosen not to disclose his wife and child's names publicly, citing privacy concerns. Since 2014, when accusations about Bill Cosby's sexual misconduct, which had shadowed him for years, resurfaced, many people who've worked with the entertainer over the years have been questioned about their opinion on the matter, including Malcolm. In a January 2023 interview with Jameel Hill, he was asked if he feels any resentment towards Bill for how people now perceive The Cosby Show, and what kind of personal financial impact the comedian's downfall has had on the show's legacy. Malcolm's answer was a simple no, because he knows how the business works. He said that while he can't defend Bill's actions, he can't throw him under the bus either, because of how layered and complex the situation is. He admits that he and the rest of the cast have taken a financial hit, but his career specifically overall hasn't been affected. That can easily be attributed to his mother's insistence that Malcolm always be prepared for a rainy day whenever that would be and have his life set up for success when that day came. As a staple in television and film for over 30 years, Malcolm Jamal Warner has positioned himself as one of the most accomplished talents in the industry today and continues to use his seasoned acting, music, directing, and producing skills to entertain fans worldwide.